internal energy. We have a gas law lab to do. I think I'm going to be under pressure. So we're going to talk about internal energy. And remember, that's the letter U. That's internal energy. And remember, it's the sum of the kinetic and potential, but we have a specific equation that's going to help us if we have an ideal and monatomic gas. What does monatomic mean? It just means it's all the same atoms. Okay, so we have an equation from our data booklet. There's actually two of them. So we've got uh, U equals, this is the internal energy, it's going to be equal to 3 halves times N R T. But we've also got this version here, it goes U equals, and it's 3 halves, this time is capital N times K B times T. And because uh, these two right here are equal, that means we can say that this N R and this NKB, we can actually put them together and we can say then, oh, that means then at NR, in other words, the number of moles times this uh, constant, must be equal to the total number of atoms times the Boltzmann's constant. So this is also something you could say. Okay, so we know about our variables. We have U is the internal energy in joules. If T is the temperature in Kelvin, remember lowercase n is the number of moles. R is this gas constant. Capital N is the number of molecules or atoms. And this KB is Boltzmann's constant. Okay, so what can we say about an exam tip? Well, as T goes up, for example, notice then internal energy then will go up. But also, as the speed, this is really important, as the speed V goes up, what happens? Well, then the temperature goes up, because remember, temperature is defined uh, as the average kinetic energy of the molecule. So if the speed goes up, the temperature goes up, and that means then the internal energy goes up. So this is kind of nice to know. So let's do an example. We're going to calculate the internal energy. Remember, that means we want to find U. We want you of a gas with this many molecules and remember what that number is this right here then must be if it's a number of molecules it must be capital N has a temperature of minus 45 Celsius well it helps to write down the equations then for uh, internal energy so we have either 3 halves uh, n R T or we have u equals 3 halves capital N times KB times T. Which one is easiest to use? Well, we don't know the number of moles, but we do know the number of molecules, so I think it's probably easiest to use this one. So I'll say that's maybe, that's maybe a good choice. So let's just use that one. The only problem is we need the temperature. So let's uh, calculate actually what's the temperature. So we'll say the temperature, remember in Kelvin, this is from your data booklet, it goes the uh, temperature in Celsius, plus 273. So in our case, then let's see, that means the temperature in Kelvin must be equal to, well, minus 45 plus 273. So that means the temperature must be, what's that? That's 228, I think it is, 228 Kelvin. So there we go, we're gonna take that piece then and shove it into here. Well, that means then I can put it all together. I have U equals 3 halves. Now, what's capital N? It's 1 times 10 to the 30. We're told that from the beginning here. What's Boltzmann's constant? It's 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. Uh, that you can look up. And then the temperature now we use is 228 Kelvin that we just found. And we can do this on the calculator. Okay, so I'll just do a fraction, for example. So I'll do 3 over 2. All that times, let's see, it's 1 times 10 to the 30. All that times uh, 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. And all that times 228. Now my final answer then of uh, 47196000. Now what is that in scientific notation? I can say it's 4.7196 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'll say it's 4.7196 times 10 to the 9. Okay, well I can write my answer to two significant figures because that's the least ones that I've been given. So that means I can say then that U, the internal energy then is going to be 4.7 times 10 to the 9 joules. Now you could have also written, just so you know at least, don't be afraid to also use the proper prefixes. So you can say or, you could have also said it's uh, 4.7 and you can say giga because giga is uh, 10 to the 9. So you could have also said that for example. But I think, you know, 4.7 times 10 to the 9 joules is perfectly clear. There we go.